I was born in Shanghai, and I completed my all education from primary school to PhD, all in China. So I came to Australia in 1988, and first worked as a postdoctor in the University of New South Wales, and then later as a postdoctor in the University of Sydney. When I was an undergraduate student back to China, I was、uh, told a story how the laser was invented, and I was fascinated by the the feature of the laser. I have a, a very rich imagination, and I saw that eventually the life should be much better if the laser can be used in our daily life. So I, I some of the things I really、uh, imagined at that time. One of the research topic we've been doing is called optical data storage, and if you think about the The invention of the optical data storage that was in the 70s, and that is because the laser was invented. People predict if you use a laser to store the information, we would be much better high, with a high capacity storage device. And, and that was fascinating to me. I sort of、uh, from then I realized there are lots of things we can do. So the impact beyond that, because the optical method is a, a, a method which we can save a huge amount of energy. So the the phenomena is that we are produce a lots of information, but when you record information, you need energy to store it. So in the current data center, majority of energy is to store the information. I, I think it take another five to ten years for the everyday life because we need a mass production. So from the make a, a few piece to the mass production, we need to work with the industry. I'm excited. You know, I, I think there's a couple of things we've been developing. They are now in the research translation phase,、uh, in the data storage area. We uh, uh, work with a number of、uh, partners, including CSIO here in Australia, including international partner, and trying to really develop the product. So it's totally different type of multidisciplinary work we have to work together. So this is where I feel very exciting. A new way to work with the academics, industry, and design the totally new products. So in these both area, in the data storage and the solar cell, we've been engaged with the industry for last five years. We went to the solar industry. We went to the Google. We went to the Facebook. We trying to understand what are the bottleneck issues from this company. And once you understand that, and you translate the Their concern, their demand, into the research, the life, and so we develop the project totally differently. I'm Professor Mingu from the MIT University. I'm honored to receive the 2016 Victoria Prize for Science and Innovation in the Physical Science.